Nine circles of hell Each of the nine circles in hell represents a different sin, each with its own degree of wickedness. The punishment, which is relevant to each sin is inflicted in the corresponding circle. As Dante travels through each circle, he encounters notable figures from history who were guilty of sin. Dante notes that as the circles descend, they become progressively smaller. People who committed the nine sins during their lifetime were assigned to an analogous circle of hell and destined to receive punishment. The following subsections will describe the nine circles of hell punishments and the historical figures encountered in each. First circle. The first circle of hell that Dante enters is Limbo. The souls in Limbo belong to those people who lived ethically and morally but were never baptized and did not accept or believe in the Christian Savior Jesus Christ. The souls in Limbo sigh, longing to move on to a better place, but they are not punished more severely because they lived before the time of Christ. Limbo was once filled with many characters from the Old Testament of the Christian Bible including Adam, Noah, and Moses, however, a crowned heavenly figure retrieved them from Limbo and took them to heaven. It seems that those who remain in Limbo will reside there for eternity. While visiting Limbo, Dante meets great poets who were friends of Virgil's, ancient mathematicians, and scientists, and benevolent rulers from lands that did not have access to Christianity. Second Circle The second circle of hell holds those who gave into lust when reason would have served them better and those who committed adultery. In life, these people were swept up in their feelings of lust. In hell, their souls are battered and tossed about by strong winds which symbolize their raging lust. In the second circle of hell, Dante encounters the queen of Egypt, Cleopatra, who allowed her lustful affair with Mark Antony to escalate to a point that resulted in Egypt being conquered by Rome. Third circle. In the third circle of hell are those souls who were guilty of gluttony, or indulging in food or drink excessively. The souls suffer a constant excessive and dirty storm of rain and snow. Chaco, an Italian socialite, resides in the third circle of hell. Chaco informs Dante that this circle holds the souls of a great number of politicians. The third circle is guarded by the three-headed dog Cerberus whose three mouths are a symbolic representation of the overindulgence committed by gluttons. Cerberus prevents the souls from leaving the third circle. Fourth circle. Those who were guilty of the sin of avarice, or greed, reside in the fourth circle of hell. In life, these people hoarded money, spent excessive amounts of money, or were highly materialistic. They each strove to hold as much material wealth as possible. In hell, they are forced to push great masses of weight. Those who were miserly with money push in opposing directions from those who wasted a great deal of money. Fifth circle. Intense anger, or wrath, is punished in the fifth circle of hell. There are two types of souls in the fifth circle, those who became easily or violently angered, and those who were sullen, or moody, and grumpy, in life. Those who gave into their anger are punished by being in a constant physical battle with one another that takes place on the surface of the river Styx. Those who were sullen are partially buried in the mud where they choke on their anger for eternity. Dante meets his real-life political nemesis Filippo Argenti who is later torn apart by other souls in the fifth circle. Sixth circle. The sixth circle of hell contains the souls of those who were guilty of heresy. Heresy is holding beliefs contrary to those taught by orthodox theologies such as Christianity. The souls in Dante's sixth circle of hell were not faithful Catholics. Their punishment is to spend eternity inside of tombs that are encased in flames. Since these souls did not follow the path toward eternal life, they are entombed forever. The more severe the person's heresy, the hotter the flames. Seventh circle. Souls guilty of violence are punished in the sixth circle of hell. These souls are divided into three groups, those who committed violence against others through murder, beatings, or destruction of property, those who committed violence against themselves, and those who were violent against God by being blasphemous by acting or speaking in a way that is offensive to God. Each type of violence is contained to its own layer within the seventh circle. Souls who were violent toward others are condemned to be submerged in boiling blood. People who hurt themselves are pecked at by bird women called harpies or attacked by dogs. Those who committed violent acts against God writhe in burning sand and burning rain. Eighth Circle. Different kinds of fraud are punished in the eighth circle of hell. The circle is guarded by the monster Gerion who Virgil summons to carry himself and Dante into the depths of the circle. Like the seventh circle, the eighth circle is divided into layers, according to the sin committed. This circle 
of hell is divided into ten balgias or stony ditches with bridges between them. In Dante sees panderers and seducer. In he finds flatterers. After crossing the bridge to, he and Virgil see those who are guilty of Simone. After crossing another bridge between the ditches to, they find sorcerers and false prophets. In are housed corrupt politicians, in are hypocrites and in the remaining four ditches. Dante finds hypocrites, thieves, evil counselors, and advisors, divisive individuals and various falsifiers such as alchemists, perjurers, and counterfeits ninth circle. The last ninth circle of hell is divided into four rounds according to the seriousness of the sin, though all residents are frozen in an icy lake. Those who committed more severe sin are deeper within the ice. Each of the four rounds is named after an individual who personifies the sin. Thus round one is named Kaina after Cain who killed his brother Abel. Round two is named Antinora a Yufter and Thener of Troy who was Priam's counselor during the Trojan War. Round three is named Ptolemia after Ptolemy, while round four is named Judica after Judas Iscariot, the apostle who betrayed Jesus with a kiss. After crossing Judica comes the center of the hell. People who committed the absolute sin of treachery against God are punished here. Here, Satan resides who is trapped in the frozen central zone in the ninth circle of hell. Also, Lucifer, the archangel who betrayed God is trapped waist-deep in the ice. These are the circles of hell as depicted.